Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, first video, doing the ECM to our 30-day look ahead for today's first video. So as always, on a Tuesday, have a look at weather next month with the ECM to our extended model. Uh, it's going to take us into the uh, early part of March, of course. We can extend out to weeks 5 and 6 um, with this, but we always stop at week 4, as it is a 30-day uh, look ahead. So uh, yeah, I should go on that for you very shortly. I should say that the second video coming up later on today uh, will be a 10 to 14 day uh, video and uh, then we may have like on Souls Watch or something coming up tonight. Just watch your space uh, on that. So uh, there may be a video tonight. Uh, thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for uh, supplying uh, the charts. Thanks so much uh, for doing that. Right, let's get on with it then and start off uh, with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. Uh, taking us uh, from the 8th through to the 15th of February. The coming week will have high pressure blocking around Scandinavia and out into uh, Greenland with low pressure and the jet stream uh, running underneath it. So low pressure is through here, high pressure is within the normal latitudes, and we'll be bringing in the wings from an easterly uh, direction potentially, and also uh, northerly, of course, across uh, northeastern parts of Europe. So it looks cold, doesn't it, in the weekend? That looks like a scenario for cold weather with plenty of low pressure to the south and the jet stream down here as well. And uh, bring in those cold easterly and northerly winds across much of northern uh, and central western uh, Europe. This is the 500 millibar height anomaly um, from a North Pole view down. Again, just showing you uh, the extensive northern blocking back uh, in from the North Atlantic into Greenland and into the Arctic. Low pressure from the Atlantic into uh, West Europe, winds in from an east or even northerly uh, direction, uh, once again across much of northern Europe. So this is how temperature anomalies are looking bitterly cold through uh, much of the north, central and western part of uh, Europe. Deep blue colours here all the way from uh, Ireland and the UK in the west over to the northwest of Russia and Baltic Sea states uh, in the northeast. So bitterly, bitterly cold. Uh, the temperature anomaly is going down to, uh, on the scale, I think we go down below, sort of 10 degrees below average through Germany, through parts of Norway, and up into northeastern uh, Europe. So extremely cold temperatures across northern uh, parts of Europe. Southern Europe, not as cold as that. So Spain and Portugal, actually a bit mild average. The central bowl of the Med nearer, normal to a bit above average. And then the southeastern parts of uh, Europe around the Black Sea and down to Greece and Turkey, looking relatively mild through there. So it is quite a, a, quite a north-south split, really, uh, in the week ahead, with uh, much of northern Europe looking bitter, bitterly cold and uh, southern Europe looking a lot milder. And from a precipitation perspective, obviously where it's coldest, it's also reasonably dry, but any precipitation it does fall will, of course, be snow. So it's driving average from Scandinavia all the way down to uh, Ireland, UK, and into France as well. Uh, wetter than average should be eastern part of Europe and down into the eastern part of the Med. Actually, most of the Med has above average precipitation all the way from Spain and Portugal over the west to the Greek islands in the east. Uh, generally looking uh, above average with precipitation, and then that above average precipitation extends up the eastern side of Europe. It's very much in the west of the northwest of Europe, uh, and across Scandinavia, of course, where it is driving average under that big blocking area of high pressure. Right, so cold and wintry for northern Europe, uh, milder but wet for southern Europe in uh, weekend. Let's go through to week two. This will take us uh, from the 15th to the 2nd of February. So now the Scandinavian high, uh, uh, the high pressure comes much more centered over Scandinavia and down into like central parts of Europe. Low pressure is out to the west. It probably still keeps the wind in from the east, much of, uh, from much of uh, sort of northern Europe. Across western Europe, we're probably starting to draw up something a little bit less cold from the south, maybe due to the orientation of the high pressure of Scandinavia from central Europe and the low pressure in the Atlantic. So western Europe might be turning milder, particularly either the UK where it's cold, in week one, it might be a little bit milder in uh, week two, but on the other hand, much of uh, eastern northeast Europe, probably even colder winds coming in from uh, more of a northerly direction. And the central and many western parts of Europe still in still in easterly winds, uh, I would have thought. Been unsettled through the eastern part of Med and also around Spain and Portugal, some higher pressure though, ridging down in towards Italy. Week 2, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like this. So, uh, again, we can see the high pressure is still blocking. The high pressure is still blocking uh, between sort of Scandinavia and Greenland. Low pressure out to the southwest 
Um, low pressure also on the eastern side of, of Europe as well. Actually, let's get rid of that, shall we? So you can see East Europe. So low pressure is still sort of digging down, or it's starting to dig down from the eastern side of Europe, so it'd be very cold with that trough through there. Um, the low pressure in the Atlantic combined with the high pressure to the northeast possibly pulls at something a little bit milder or less cold. Across western parts, you'll have a potential anomaly in a moment. Uh, and winds go into, say, into the east for much of uh, northern and northeastern Europe. This is how the uh, week two temperature anomaly uh, is shaping up from the 15th to the 2nd of uh, February. So just a little bit less cold, I suppose, in the west. Actually, we're still quite close to cold temperatures across uh, particularly eastern parts of the UK. But I think maybe just going ever so slightly less cold at western side of Europe. Uh, Conversely, by much of northern and eastern Europe looking bitterly cold again and, and becoming colder like in the southeast of Europe as well. So the southeast part of the map from Italy out towards Greece and Turkey it becomes colder through there as, as these bitterly cold temperatures sort of plunge south through the Balkans, uh, for example, and through the Black Sea. Uh, as well, but the coldest anomalies are like for eastern parts of Europe and into the west of Russia, where again it's uh, it's below ten degrees below average. Scandinavia is still looking pretty cold uh, as well. Uh, Greenland and Iceland standing out as being very mild, and most of Spain and Portugal has a mild and average week uh, in week two uh, as well. The precipitation anomaly from the fifteenth to the second of February. Looks like this, so uh, are we going to be able to go through to that, I wonder? So there we go, 15th, 16th of February. Uh, we look like that, the precipitation anomaly. So uh, drier than average across much of northern Europe, wetter than average out to the southwest. Um, so, so again, much of, North, much of Europe being dominated by high pressure, just that high pressure is perhaps a little bit further eastwards uh, through here. Lower pressure a little bit further north with the jet stream, maybe brings something a bit more unsettled to the western side of Europe. But again, much of northern, northeast Europe drier than average. And over on this eastern side of Europe, uh, it's, it's a bit wet and average through there as well. In the med, uh, wet in the west and in the east, near a normal. Uh, in between uh, around Italy. Right, that's week two done. Let's have a look at week three. This takes us from the 22nd of February through to the 1st of March. High pressure still blocking here. Uh, this time between uh, Scotland and Norway. Again, just implies that we're probably bringing in easterly winds across many parts of the uh, of Northern Europe. Notice that low pressure uh, has, has actually moved back uh, westwards into the Atlantic. So we've lost that uh, suggestion of perhaps a milder type flow uh, across Western Europe, but we have a week too. And actually, I think it's perhaps a colder week again, really, uh, for much of the uh, northwestern Europe. Anyway, either of the UK probably goes colder here, I would have thought, with that high pressure between Scotland and Norway. The uh, week three 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like that. So again, high pressure just generally blocking to the north. Again, I think we're bringing in lots of easterly, uh, northeasterly winds across much of northern, central and western uh, parts of Europe. This is how the uh, week three temperature anomaly looks. So you see how those colder temperatures actually extending back in from the east again. Not quite as severely cold, but probably only because we're like uh, in the third week now. So the signal is that little bit weaker. But certainly it turns colder again through the UK, through Ireland, through uh, France as well. It's like it is becoming colder. The core of the cold is like from Poland back into the western part of Russia. So most parts of Europe are in cold and averaging down into the Mediterranean, central and eastern parts of the Med are cold. It's nearer normal out to the west. And the far north of Scandinavia, just going a little bit milder perhaps uh, there. But to be honest, this is another cold week uh, to bring an end to what has been a cold northern European winter, of course. Super danger wise, lots of dry weather with those blocking areas of high pressure. So the wettest conditions are down in the south and the eastern part of the Mediterranean. Um, but otherwise, it is pretty dry uh, from like uh, Scotland and Norway all the way down in towards France and uh, Germany. Uh, most places are looking drier than average once again. And then lastly for this update, we'll go through the week four, which takes us from the 1st through to the 8th of uh, March. As I say, we can go further on into March uh, with this, but we're going to stop at uh, week four and we'll show weeks five and six data for our live stream or in our live stream. 
tomorrow. So uh, week uh, week four, uh, which is uh, the first week of March, has high pressure now centred to the north of Scotland. So I would have thought still generally on the cold side, really, much of northern and western Europe, probably still bringing winds from a northerly or easy direction. Otherwise, the signal is weakening a little bit. Uh, but uh, I think still probably quite cold, much of northern and northwest Europe for the first week of March and first week of mid or spring, uh, of course. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly shows above average heights through the North Atlantic up towards Greenland. Uh, below average heights across eastern parts of Europe. Just generally, I think, looking quite cold, really, uh, for much of uh, northern Europe once again. The uh, week uh, four temperature anomaly. Looks like that. Still just generally a cold scene in most parts of the Europe, once again, widely below average temperatures. It's uh, still getting weaker as we go further out, as we tend to see the further out we go. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, it's another, it's a stretch of another cold week through most parts of Europe again, first week of March. And the precipitation anomaly for the first week of March looks like that overall reasonably dry, really, uh, through most parts of the northwestern Europe, so uh, again, see where the block is. It's out in the northwest, in the east and the southeast of Europe. Perhaps a little bit wetter there. Signals are, of course, getting ever weaker. Right, so we'll stop there and we'll bring you weeks five and six data uh, in our live stream tomorrow. It looks like it's the same cold, really, doesn't it? We may get a little bit less cold next week uh, in the UK and Ireland, but then the suggestion is definitely that the cold comes back again by the end of February and into March. We're back into those cold east or north eastes again. And overall, the blocking goes on. The cold winter continues through most parts of certainly northern Europe anyway. Uh, so, so, yeah, quite a cold, uh, quite a cold four weeks to come. Right, we'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day update, including all the regular features, so come back for that then. Uh, for the European Outlook, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.